Everyday life in Alaska must be filled with hardships for people who live in the rural parts of the outback state. Even among them, Alaskan resident and the cast member of Life Below Zero, Chip Hailstone, has seen a lot more hardships in his life in recent years. We will talk about them, but only because they also play a huge factor in his net worth for 2021, which we are sure a lot of you are intrigued with. Chip Hailstone was born in 1969 in Kalispell, Montana, and came to Alaska on a trip in 1988 when he was just 19 years old. He fell in love with the place and has made it his permanent home since, firstly settling in the small town of Norvik. As a boy, skilled in hunting and fishing from his childhood, it was only understandable that he also did the same thing to make a living. He would soon meet a fellow hunter and fisherwoman, Agnes, an Alaskan native being of Irupiat Eskimo ethnicity that is anthropologically local to the Arctic Circle. Chip instantly fell for her, and the two would get married shortly after in early 1990s. Agnes already had two sons from a prior marriage, and after marrying, Chip Hailstone has given birth to five more children, all of whom they have successfully raised in the harsh Alaskan outback. Life Below Zero producers knew that Hailstone's life would be a matter of great fascination among the audience, which is why they were cast in 2013. Chip Hailstone has since continuously appeared in all seasons and episodes since, but mysteriously disappeared in season 10. The cause of his disappearance is not that big of a secret as it was a big controversial reason for his leave. Chip Hailstone was arrested and served in prison for 15 months after being charged guilty in July 2017 of two counts of perjury and making false statements to police. Chip Hailstone, however, repeats that he is the victim of a crime instead of the criminal. He has claimed that the allegations pertain back to 2011, where he claims that an Alaskan state trooper physically assaulted his daughter, Ten Mike, back when she was only 17 years old. Similarly, at a related incident, he claimed that after an altercation involving his stepson, a Norvik resident pointed a rifle at his daughter. So, it was truly shocking how it was Chip Hailstone that instead was charged in the situation and was initially looking at three years on probation. The only silver lining of the whole situation was that Chip Hailstone got to see how loyal fans he had. A couple of his fans even requested the former president Donald Trump, who was still the president in 2020, to help grant him pardon as he had done to other celebrities like Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. Mr. President, seeing your justified pardons first, the people who deserve them. Chip Hailstone of Life Below Zero should be considered. He spent a year in jail for lying to police. Please study his case and act. One of these tweets read. Trump did not listen to Chip's few fans, but Hailstone eventually served his time and was out shortly after. All the time Chip was away, his wife Agnes Hailstone had to fill in his shoes and bring in food for the whole family. While we've been patiently waiting for Chip to come home, we decided to go out hunting. Agnes said at the time. So hopefully when my husband finally gets home, we could have something fresh waiting for him. The last 10 months have been pretty long and sad with Chip being gone. Food didn't taste good, coffee didn't taste good, but I got through it. I had my daughters with me and they've actually gone from walking behind me to walking by my side and hunting with me. It's been really awesome watching these girls in the last year grow up. We survived, we've improved, and now we're just a lot stronger, she continued. Chip, on the other hand, stated, I've got real rifles in my hand. I'm back to being my old self. I'm going to have a good time because I missed out on this last year. This was not the only tragedy Chip had to face. More recently, in season 15, we got to meet Chip Hailstone's brother, Willie, who introduced himself as the taller and better looking brother. Willie came all the way to Alaskan to meet his brother and go fishing with him. They talk about how as children they would go fish every day together before they went to school and after they returned from school. However, now it had been a good 25 years since they fished together. They gear up to travel to the fishing location in their snowmobiles, but what they planned to be a great day turned out to be a day in hell when they suddenly realized that Willie had crashed his snowmobile and injured himself. Willie seemed to have broken his wrists and was in an excruciating pain when they found him. Willie would let out anguishing screams and grunts at even a small attempt to move him to get help. 
This led to Chip, Agnes, and the rest of the show's crew members to directly take him to the clinic instead of giving him first aid. Thankfully, he reached the clinic in one piece when they were able to treat him. His injuries didn't look that bad after it was bandaged up, but Willie assures us that he is no crybaby and the injury was very serious. Chip Hailstone seems to have a lot of bad luck come his way in recent years. We had to mention these tragedies because they would have affected his finances through the legal and medical expenses to the case. Chip Hailstone still boasts a splendid TV career, appearing in almost 130 episodes of the series, but would have been longer had he been present in season 10. One would think that it shouldn't affect his net worth much, but his net worth as of 2021 is still only $200,000 which is an impressive amount, but not as impressive for someone of Chip's status. We hope Chip Hailstone will have better luck from now and increase his net worth as well.